What can children teach us about prayer? Lots of things, but I'll highlight two in this video. The first lesson shows us what we're doing wrong in prayer. The second lesson shows us what we need to do in order to get our prayers answered. Hi, I'm Christopher. This channel asks questions and provides recommendations to help Christians apply the Bible to our lives and to know God more deeply. First, children help show why we may not be getting what we specifically ask for in prayer. I have three children and they are constantly asking for things that are not good for them. Things that if they actually received them would not make my children happy. For example, my children sometimes ask, do I have to go to school today? Yes, you do have to go to school. And over time, I bet that my children will recognize that school is actually a good thing and they'll be glad that they went. Similarly, my children are always asking for sweets and junk food. If they ate as much sweets and junk food as they ask for, they would actually be quite unhappy because it's tough to be happy when you don't feel well and have a stomach ache. I'm proof that children do learn though. I used to be this kid. I didn't want to go to school. I asked for more dessert. Today, nobody's telling me I can't have more dessert, but I eat dessert in moderation. I could have stopped going to school after high school and yet I went on to college and then after that went on to get a master's. I've realized why these things are important. Just like over time I came to realize that health and education were actually good for me, so our prayers also evolve from times in which we ask God for things which are actually bad for us two times when we ask God for things that are truly good. When I look back at what I used to ask God for after I became a new Christian, I realize now that much of it was very foolish. It was similar to asking for junk food. Initially, it would have been enjoyable to get what I was asking for, but it wouldn't have been good for me. And in the long run, it definitely would have been damaging. Children help show us why we don't receive what we're asking for because our prayers are selfish and focused on our own pleasures. James 4 verse 3 When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. Today, my prayers are less selfish than they were 30 years ago. They're less focused on my own pleasure than they were 30 years ago, but they're certainly not perfect. I expect and pray that in the next 30 years, my prayers will continue to be less selfish, to be less focused on my own pleasure and focused more and more on good things of God. So if our prayers should not be focused on our own pleasure or selfish, what should our prayers be focused on? What should our prayers be? Well, children can help us here too. Children can teach us how we can get our prayers answered. I have some great kids and I love it when they ask to spend time with me. I like giving them a push on the swing. I like doing movie nights with them. I like wrestling with them. I like reading books to them. Psalm 37 verse four. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. They're my children, and I love spending time with them. That's what this passage is also saying. Delight yourself in the Lord. Enjoy spending time with him. Enjoy being with him. Pray to spend time with him. Pray to get to know him. He will answer those prayers. He will give you those things. So I'm imperfect. I don't always want to play with my children. I don't always have time. I am sometimes just not feeling it. But God is perfect. God doesn't suffer mood swings. God doesn't have bad days at the office. We can always depend on God being there for us. That's what this passage is saying. If our delight is in God, if we enjoy spending time with him, if we seek him and long to be with him, then he will answer our prayers because our prayers will be in line 
with his will. He will give us the desires of our heart. If my delight were more in the Lord, then my prayers would be more eternally focused. They'd be more God-focused. My prayers would not be about giving myself glory, but about giving God glory. So what do children teach us about prayer? First, they teach us why we don't get the answer to prayer we're looking for. Like children, we ask for things that are actually bad for us. Our prayers are selfish and focused on our own pleasures. But as they grow, children come to realize that what they're asking for is not actually good for them and they stop asking for it. Similarly, as we mature spiritually, we come to recognize that our prayers are selfish and focused on our own pleasures. And as we're sanctified, our prayers focus more and more on good things, on godly things. Secondly, we are imperfect parents, but we enjoy spending time with our children. If our kids ask to spend time with us, that's a request we love to grant. But God is a perfect father. If we delight ourselves in him, he will give us the desires of our heart. He will answer our prayers because our prayers are focused on bringing him glory and spending time with him. Well, my name is Christopher and I hope that this video has been helpful in showing a couple things children can teach us about prayer. If you have a prayer request, I'd be happy to pray for you. Just leave it in the comments below.